Japan, who of course taking to the field for the first time in this edition of the most prestigious festival in world football. No doubt looking for a performance to set a tone. There's his great vocal support. There are many, many who have travelled to watch them, and every one of those supporters. Will... Japan looking for a fast start to get things done early here. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely, and you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. And that gets things running. It's a soccer. Chance to shoot! As Brequeta is fouled. Keeper sends it forward. It's come loose. Well played, he saw that coming. Sarko. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Yoshida. Saka. Osako plays it out to the flank. Plays it back. Shoots! Keeper's done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. <laughs> Defending of the desperate variety. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, uh, of stopping the opposition. And I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Out to the left it goes. He gets past his man. Hit into the middle. Hoists it forward. And it's a soccer. Oh, some tackle that. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. This is gone, that's a foul. That's Piliqueta. And the shot! Disappointing finish in the end. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot. And it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Could move up a gear here. That's just very well played. He... Oh, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. It's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking.
Japan take the lead. I just listened to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. It'll be a throw in. Japan are enjoying this surprise lead. He's got options out wide. And a header! a super header, dispatched beautifully. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Definitely done. He's had a goal! No mistake! What about that, Jim Beglin? Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and... The damage was all done. This is threatening to become a really good game. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum now. Osako. Thinks he's got rid of that. Laporte. Spain to retain the ball, but seemingly in no rush to break forward. Midway through the first period, and he's looking quite a game here. And it's played forward. Rodri. Spain are experts at this stylish possession base. Big chance! Well, even for him, that may have been a touch ambitious. Chance to stroke it through. And we're not going to make any further progress now. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Rodri, as Pliqueta goes looking, loses his balance and loses the ball. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. He's left his man. about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward and numbers too. He's all very well drilled. This has become one superb game of football. Well, I think this is a case of anything you can do, we can do too. I mean, they're matching each other like for like here. Gets away from his opponents. Keeps everyone guessing. Chooses to go back. Has a pop! There was plenty of power on that. He's 
not played the ball, that's a foul. Foot in. Now it's Osako. Osako goes long. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Raspinaqueta. Jordi Alba. Spain disappointing in the end there. They lack urgency. Osako. Now it's Osako. Osako wants to play it back. The referee's awarded a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal there. Perhaps the final meaningful act of the first half. And you would probably say it's too far out for a shot. He's gone to... Trussbach comes to the rescue. And it's Saka. Nothing but a skill there. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Tries to get it forward quickly. You felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. And here's Osako. Osako! Just swings wide. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. His opposite number. And a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. He gets a ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. That's Piliqueta. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. And that's going to be a booking. So we have a... And it's half-time here. So we reach the halfway point. Well, Peter, I'm just thinking of the best way to describe that. Frantic and frenzied. It was unmissable and it was irresistible. Forget about the analysis on this one, just enjoy it. We're ready up and running for the second half. Japan need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Forward it goes. Jordi Alba plays it forward. Tries to switch the play. Raspilicueta. Hoists it forward. Well positioned to make that interception. something new. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And here's Osako. Rodri 
puts good distance on it. And he's away. And the finish! And for a moment, time stood still. Nicely controlled. Has a hit! It just took too long getting forward. Oh, Peter, the best counter-attacks are, are pacey and incisive, we know that. And, and that one never really got going. Out to the right. And here's Osako. A real chance to break. As Pinaqueta just did a brilliant job there. It was one of those all or nothing commitments, and he came up trumps. And the counter is on. Jordi Alba simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority too. Wonderful. Jordi Alba, ball's loose, who's getting there? Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Kawashima deals with it effortlessly. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. He's still going for goal! It's in! You know, we may be looking at another classic here, and I'm not going to guess what's going to happen next, but that is great togetherness and resolve. Uh, deflection may or may not have made a difference. Little matter, it is his. <laughs> Quite a thriller this one's become. Well, they're back on level terms, so the guessing game goes on. As to what will happen from here, I've no idea. And the weighted pass. Real chance! Oh, surely! And it's played forward. Has a hit! Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Goes long. And the defence can get it clear. Llorente. Ferran Torres. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Gets wrestled off the ball. Jordi Alba with a delicate ball. Spain showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. And it's a soccer. It's a loose ball, and they've been caught out here. Made into space out wide. That's a hit! Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. As Pliqueta tries to get it forward quickly. Ferran Torres is on to it and can take it up. In with a header! Goal, Spain! And they're back in front! 
Spain produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. Spain are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. Spain go into the lead. Oh, it was a long time coming, but I think it's fully merited. They've applied themselves extremely well. He's made sure that that won't get through. And that's put paid to a promising move. Spain uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. This is promising. Spain probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. And here's Osako. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. As soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. And Snaffles is third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, this has been an immense contribution for one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Spain making consecutive changes here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side. Uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. So all square with almost no time remaining. Chip through, and he's on his way! Oh, shooting chance! Oh, it's in! And that may just do it! Sarko duly reaps his reward, kept his call whilst the defence lost their bearings. And look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was. Absolutely top notch. Four in the game, he is the man. Having turned the game on its head, now can they hold out? Well, the last moment's now deep. And time is up. Japan 